Hello, my name is Panos Prevedouros and I'm running for mayor of the city and county of Honolulu. Today I'd like to talk to all of you about why the rail is not an effective traffic solution. And I will illustrate that using the Vancouver SkyTrain, which actually is used in local commercials to promote rail in Honolulu. As you can see, Canada and Vancouver have a tradition of heavy rail infrastructure of which we have none on Oahu. Here I show to you the system they have which is proprietary, therefore this is a non-bid, non-competitive contract where they have the middle rail which is essentially what they call a linear motor and allows the train to go on steep uphill and downhill angles. And here you can see how heavy the construction is and the size of the stations. In this picture we see the massive guideways that they will be high up between 30 and 80 feet. How would you like to pay half a million dollars to own a small apartment next to a guideway that will be generating 75 decibel every three minutes? You wouldn't. That is exactly why transit-oriented development around this infrastructure is not ever likely to succeed. Uh, this is a crowded station which is actually what happens every morning and every afternoon. The picture that I found on the internet said that only half of these passengers were able to get on the train, the rest of them had to wait for the next train. Is this good quality of life? You have to remember that when you use the proposed train in Honolulu, two-thirds of the passengers will be standing all the way. This is another SkyTrain station at night. How would you like to be there alone in a deserted station like this? Let me talk to you a little bit about crime and maintenance. This is a station that was completely closed because a crime was committed there, very similar to an accident on the freeway. Uh, there is of course a lot of graffiti problems and this is one of the better slides that I could find. The others tend to be much more obscene. You have a lot of problems with elevator and escalator maintenance. As you can see here, this elevator is closed. Then, speaking about specialized maintenance, the rail system is all a very specialized system. Now you have here a mini truck that has been fitted to operate on the railway. This is a small train operating there to do maintenance. Uh, this is a specialized van to go fix the stations. And this is only 5% of the huge rail yard that unfortunately the Fox and Capole are going to get. A lot of electromechanical complex equipment. Here I'm showing you a slide of the Federal Transit Administration program in which we apply for funding. As you can see, Honolulu is nowhere to be seen. Why? Because we don't have an environmental impact statement. Now in 2006 we conducted an alternatives analysis which I'm sorry to say it was a joke. It eliminated for example the Pearl Harbor Tunnel with a fake $11 billion cost. Now, that project is likely to be expensive, but nothing close to $11 billion. It added two hot lanes, but eliminated the zipper lane for a net gain of a single highway lane. Even then, 10 miles of hot lanes performed only 5% worse than 20 miles of rail. Now, the EIS was originally promised to be out in the spring of 2008. Now, Mufi Hahnemann says that he will release it early in 2009. What are they hiding? The costs? The number of condemned properties? Are they hiding the traffic and visual impacts? The noise impacts? Until well after the elections? Bottom line, rail is very expensive and not competitive. If you build hot lanes and bus rapid transit, you can be going from Kapolei to the UH in 50 minutes by bus or in 42 minutes by car. By rail, the same trip is 75 minutes because that system needs to make 30 stops and stay at every station roughly for half a minute. Now, hot lanes and bus rapid transit will cost roughly $2 billion, as opposed to rail transit that is guaranteed to cost over $5 billion. When it comes to energy, the footprint, the carbon footprint of the rail is actually worse by 2% or more because it consumes a lot of fuel to produce the electricity to feed the system. Because the hot lanes and the bus rapid transit reduce congestion, 
the carbon footprint, as you see, will be reduced by 40%. Bottom line, rail is a non-solution. That's why I ask for your vote to do the right thing for Oahu. Thank you.